Hello, Terra Nouveau Lyceum, and hello world for all of you joining us from YouTube. Uh, I'm your host, Dalva, and today we are going to be drawing a card from the Archangel Raphael Healing. Okay, I'm going to specify healing on this, but basically the Archangel Raphael deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, um, I made the note about Doreen earlier this week. Uh, just a trigger warning, but um, Raphael again is is an angel. May also be sort of triggering for people, especially if you have negative associations with uh, organized religion, and a lot of folks do. And, yeah, and it's okay. Um, I associate Archangel Raphael, yes, with healing, um, but also with the color green. As you can see, this box is is very green, but that kind of makes me think about nature. I also think about Archangel Ariel when I think about nature, but I think these two sort of go hand in hand. Um, going out and walking in the forest, going out and taking a hike up a mountain, um, swimming, going fishing down by the river. All these various sort of outdoor activities, which a lot of people are engaged in right now because the weather is nicer. But I think being outdoors and being in nature brings about a healing um, energy. And I think uh, Archangel Raphael is, is strongly connected to that. So, let's go ahead and get started. Everybody take a nice deep breath in. Let that out. And I'll go ahead and show you this deck. It's like we have a caduceus here, right? The snakes and the, the wings, little staff there. Which I think is actually associated, if I'm not badly mistaken, with uh, the Greek god Hermes. But... Was adopted by the medical profession. Okay, so we have that. You don't hear me knock on the deck, clear out the energy. Let's see what the cards have to say. Nope, this one wants to come out. Get this one here. And what do we have? Ha! Huh. Perfect. Okay, laughter. I don't know if y'all can see that. A little bit of a glare. Laughter is the best medicine. Okay, so it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. And don't we have a lot of human drama, folks? Don't we ever? So we have, have a laughing angel here, a little dove. Um, I feel like this is, the message here is pretty self-explanatory. You know, we're at the end of the week. It's probably been a lot of stuff. <laughs> You know, there's always a lot of stuff. Um, and some weeks we we can detach a little bit better than others. But I think our, our notice, what we're being put on, um, our message here, laugh. Let go. Laugh. See the ridiculousness in it. Whatever it is, you all know. Um, maybe rent a movie that you know is funny, that you know will make you laugh. Um... Maybe go out, go out for the walk in nature. Pay pay, atten pay attention to some of the, the silly things you see out in nature. Okay, that goes right along with what we were talking about earlier with healing. Um, I find it particularly amusing to watch birds. You wouldn't think, right? They're you know they're birds, but they they do a lot of really cute, really funny things. Uh, if you're in a position to do that, but birds are birds are pretty ubiquitous, right? Like they're in the city, they're in the country. There's there's birds everywhere. Uh, and if you don't believe me, go park your car under a tree or under a light, po a light pole, okay? So, if you can, find, find the humor in the situation. Take a moment to laugh. Um, take a moment, if you can, to get outside, get some fresh air, laugh at the birds, laugh at the squirrels. Find squirrels everywhere, too, okay? So, I'll show you this card one more time. Make sure there's not a glare there. Look at the back. All right. Take a nice cleansing breath. Getting rid of all that stuff. Let it out. Let it go. Let it flow. All right. Thank you all for your time. Um, a couple of announcements. Um, registration for my Origins class, and that's a uh, focus on creation mythology, closes tomorrow. So if you want to join us, Please, please, please uh, stop by the site, uh, sign up. The first week's uh, readings are already posted. Our meet, our first meeting will be this coming Sunday. 
at 1 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Okay. Uh, really hope to see, see some of you all there. Fandom Week continues. Today, we are going to be talking Neil Gaiman. Anything and everything Neil Gaiman. So, if you're a fan, you like American Gods, you like Good Omens, you're really psyched about uh, the Netflix Sandman series coming out, stop by, chat with us about it, okay? Alright, so everyone have a great weekend. I hope to see you on the Lyceum, and we will chat again soon. Bye for now.